What's up, everybody? It's Peach here from Peach Cheese today. Um, as most of you know, there's been uh, a lot of action in the cheese YouTube review community lately. Uh, some legal action is now going to take place, um, specifically against uh, Andy's cheese reviews. We're sick and tired of his terrorism. We're sick and tired of him trying to kick the good actors out of the cheese community. And so I'm bringing in. Uh, I call him the the legal hammer. Uh, it's my um, longtime attorney, Brad Stilton. Brad? Peach. Hey, Brad, what's up? <laughs> Be rad. Welcome to Peach Cheese. Um, so, you know, you, don't, you, you and I have talked a little bit already today. I was texting you last night when I saw what happened with Andy. Um, for anybody who doesn't know, Andy's last episode, he somehow got into YouTube's mainframe and he got in their servers and he was messing with wires and he was typing something in. And so right after Andy posted that video, I get an email from YouTube saying that the video that I made and scheduled to go out tonight has been banned in Cuba, Iran, North Korea, and Syria. And all of a sudden, the good people in these countries can't watch my videos and cheer themselves up and just forget for just one minute that they're communists. And so that's the latest uh, travesty that Andy has produced. So like I said, I'm bringing in my longtime lawyer, Brad Stilton. Um, Brad, do you think we have a good case here? Peach, I think we've got him on several counts here. Excellent. I mean, first of all, we've got some, some intimidation going on. Clearly. I mean, banning you in North Korea. I mean, the good people of North Korea, they need authentic cheese content out there. Thank you. I mean, can you imagine? No. And I tell you, I mean, I watched Andy's videos. I watched the... I'm, I'm sorry that you had to do that. I'm sorry you had to do that. I'm sorry, too. I mean, who eating cheese on somebody's grandma's tombstone? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's vile. It's un-American is what it is. And he, he's crossed the line. He, he, he continues to cross the line. He's and an habitual line stepper. Exactly. Habitual. Habitual. And I think the only way to stop him is through legal means. And I, I've tried. Um, well, uh, I've as already filed an injunction in the district court. Good. Oh, good. Okay. This guy. Excellent. First it of all, definitely of character. Thank you. Because I've heard the things he's said about you on the internet. Mm -hmm. And that's just, I mean, we've got, like, I've, I've already followed the writ of, of Hebrews Corpus. Oh, good. A cheese and assist letter drafted and it'll be sent out early tomorrow morning oh, once good. it gets my turn. But, uh, you know, I don't really, I, I need a little bit more information from you uh, before I, I figure out how to proceed on this. Okay. What do you need you know, to know? This, this, is, this is news to me. This, this, uh, this, this tampering that he's doing with, with the interwebs. Mm -hmm. And I, frankly, I don't really know how to handle it. So somehow, he, somehow he got into YouTube server room and uh, maybe you haven't seen the video, but all he's doing is messing with wires and he's in their mainframe and he's clicking buttons. And then the next thing I know, I get that letter saying that my, um, my video has, is going to be banned in these, in these countries. Um, so, and right before Christmas, Christmas in North Korea isn't bad enough. Now he's taken that away from them. So, um, what, you know, what, first Christmas. It's, I, I don't even feel like eating cheese today, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, I think you're going to do a cheese review for us, aren't you? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, excellent. Okay. So we'll get that, we'll get that going a little bit later, but, um, so mm -hmm. no, Brad, you know this, that my legal name 
is freedom of speech, peach, freedom of speech, cheese. Um, and we, you and I have talked about this several times that I believe the first indicator of a healthy democracy is cheese reviews. But to me, what Andy has demonstrated is a flagrant disregard for the rule of law in a civilized society. And it goes beyond a freedom of speech issue, uh, in my opinion. And like you said, like you said, uh, there's defamation of character, there's slander, there's libel. And I think that there's enough evidence there against Andy to change slander to slandy. Now, I don't know who we have to go through to do that, but um, we can talk about that later. Um, so I'm glad you filed the cheese and desist. That should stop his videos in their tracks because Absolutely. I'm tired of, I can't concentrate on my cheese reviews when I'm coming left and right with accusations. He's saying that I broke into his house, that I did a and e that I did an arson on his house, that he's Look. saying that one of the peach pals or me shot him in the wrist in the woods. And this is, I don't know. If you're going to make accusations like that, you better have habeas corpus. If you're going to, if you're going to make those kind of accusations and look, you know, this Andy guy, you know, he's so smart that he, he recorded video of himself doing this kind of tampering. And we've got prima parma facie evidence on this. Good. It's a good thing he recorded it because we've got him. Yeah. We've got him on several fronts. I, I, Believe. Now, how how long have you focused on cheese law? Well, look, you know, I've been I've been at uh, Stilton Rookfort for for a while now. Um, uh, you know, technically, I, um, I'm not a member of the the state bar. Uh, oh, it, here in the, in in this state, I didn't realize. Uh, so. Yeah, um, you know, my my dad is. He's oh, uh, okay. Vincent Stilton, but um, you know, I'm I'm a second year law. St uh, actually, I'm a second year law student. Um, okay. I'm, I'm just. I mean, I do work for Stilton Rook for it. I'm uh, I'm an intern. So oh. so technically, I can't I can't represent you in a court of law. But you know, oh. I honestly don't see this rising to the level of of a legal case. Like maybe I could, you know, arbitration. I could do, you know, any non non-attorney work I could probably do. Okay. Okay. Um, well, um, let's discuss that all off camera. Yeah. Um, um, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. Um, don't worry about this though. We've got it. Uh, okay. We've got um, it. I, I trust you. Like, you know, we've known each other for, for a while. Yeah. And, um, we won most of those other cases. Um, so sure, man. yeah, uh, you can't win them all. Like you said, the last one, <laughs> but, um, you know, I mean, honestly, uh, it's sort of just sort of supporting you as a friend, but what, uh, what you drinking there, Brad? Mm. Uh, it's a Michelob ultra, uh, the, uh, pure gold organic light lager. My, my wife's got me on this organic stuff. Oh, uh, it's actually, it's not great, but you know, it's a uh, it's nine eighteen a.m. So, is that yeah. the? It's got to be uh, two o'clock somewhere, right? That's yeah. what they say. <laughs> right? Uh, there's, hey, there, Jimmy Buffett made a whole industry out of that. He made a career out of Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, um, JB is the man. Uh, I don't think he has any songs about cheese. Well, cheeseburger in paradise. Cheese is right there. Oh, in the title. Right. Great. That's great. Um, see if I can maybe get him in on this case, maybe do a class action. Uh, but, um, so what, what kind of, so you're going to do a cheese review for us today. What kind of cheese are you having yeah, to go with that? Mick you don't mind. I'd oh, love please, to please. Please. Okay. I just happen to have my, uh, cheese right here. It's a, uh, Truly grass fed natural aged. Yeah, so um, beautiful. I'm not sure if this is a cheese a cheese maker per se, but uh, you know, talk to Jeff Bezos about that. It's Amazon Fresh Delivery. Oh, nice. Okay. 
Let me just get into this here. Where yeah, please. Pop it up. Here. Ooh, there we go. Ooh. Get into that. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> Ooh, that's a big old chunk. That's awesome. All right. You Got guys ready cheap. for the moment of truth? I can get into this here. Do it. Ooh, that's sliced like butter. Yeah. Wow. I'm gonna nose it. You just grab the smell. Egg. You know, it's an egg on that. Egg. Yeah. Kind of smells like uh, scrambled eggs. Uh-oh. Uh, I hope this is safe to eat, but here we go. It's a, I'd say it's a pretty sharp cheese. Mmm, very sharp. Very sharp. Or it does say meat. extra sharp on Extra sharp on Oh, that's it. I missed that. Mmm. <laughs> think notes of anything creamy it's smooth um a little a little tart i would say yeah that would go, go good with my, with my beer the globe, yeah mm. that sounds like a michelob cheese yeah yeah i tell you i mean what? this has got four four wedgies out of five four out of this, five wedgies this is a solid everyday cheese in fact i'm gonna get another another slice here i wish i could share this with you Peach. well just from your description alone i think i've experienced this cheese well enough to to give it four out of five wedgies myself so that's going to be the official peach score four out of five wedgies there you go truly awesome. grass fed uh, 